What up y'all, welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen. Today is a really fun video. So we just wrapped up my first ever 15 minute meal plan. Now what that means is that each one of these recipes was actually made in under 15 minutes. We've got the timestamp to prove it. Jesse was the judge, he won't let me get away with anything. So Jesse, I kept you honest. You kept me honest. I'm an honest man this year, every year. And this meal plan is actually really easy. So whether you are pretty seasoned in the kitchen or just getting your feet wet, don't worry, you will not be overwhelmed. And I promise you, I'm gonna get you in and out of the kitchen just like that. Check it out, y'all. Here we go, boom. For meal one, we are having an egg wrap. So the first thing we're gonna do is crack some eggs open, however many eggs you want to eat. And you can do a combination of egg and egg whites as well. Add in a little bit of personality, having the thick cook everyday seasoning. Let's whip this up. And as we're doing this, we're gonna fire up a skillet. This is something that's easy to make fresh every single morning. And our pan is already nice and hot. So we're gonna spray it with a little bit of olive oil and then pour in the eggs. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull the eggs from side to side in the skillet and use a spatula, especially if you have a nonstick skillet so that way you're not scratching it up. You don't want that nonstick coating coming off. And right when they're almost through, to keep them nice and fluffy, take it off the heat and finish cooking. Perfecto. All right, now let's make our wrap. Now for the wrap, we're gonna take a whole wheat tortilla. Then I bought some pesto. Spread that all over. Right. Gonna add in here some spinach. And then I've got some beautiful cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna slice these in half. Add those in there. Take our eggs, place our eggs right on top. Helps to wilt some of that spinach. We're gonna wrap it all up. Slice it down the middle, and boom. Got ourselves a quick pesto egg veggie wrap. Jesse, how are we looking? I don't know, man. How's the time? That was I don't know if you finished in time. That was 15 minutes, right? What was it? No, you're good. You got like nine minutes left. Oh, I was like, <laughs> really? I was like, maybe I was talking too you much. <laughs> I was kind of nervous there. <laughs> Don't do that. Add ourselves some blueberries and breakfast is served. Ready? Ready. Go. All right. Now for snack two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that part of my time? All right. Now for snack one, meal two, we're going to be making some. We're going to. Oh, my God. Now I'm nervous about the time. <laughs> Now for meal two, snack number one, we're gonna have some hummus and some bell peppers. One of my favorite snacks and one I go to. So you can either make your own hummus or you can just get some store-bought hummus. I like this one. I'm actually going to use bell peppers. These are mini bell peppers. So I'm gonna take them and just slice them down the middle. And what I'm doing is basically creating those scoops, kind of like the Frito scoops. The most important thing, this snack is supposed to give you another great dose of fresh vegetables. We're gonna finish this off. This is an optional piece, but I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of feta, if you'd like that. It's a little feta action. I love adding some za'atar. This is a, it's a blend of some herbs, and oh my God, it's just super, super fragrant. Now, if you're needing some more calories, this is an optional add. You're gonna add a tablespoon of some olive oil. There's our snack. You can stop the clock now, Jesse. Where am I at? Yeah, uh, I saw this time. Minutes. <laughs> 11 minutes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't know, man, these have been pretty easy so far. Yeah. You well, could have I... done like, you know, a couple five minute meal preps in here if you no, really wanted to. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not pushing the limit enough. All right, so for meal three, we are making a shrimp orzo pasta salad with lots of raw veggies. You're gonna love it. First thing, we're gonna fire up a pot, bring it to boil so we can cook up our orzo. While that's preparing itself and getting hot, we're actually going to fire up another skillet. We're gonna spray it with a little bit of olive oil. In goes the shrimp. And we're gonna keep the seasoning here pretty minimal because there's gonna be a lot of seasoning in the salad itself. We're just gonna add a pinch of sea salt and some pepper. And we're gonna let that sear and cook up. I'm gonna add some salt here. Get this water to boiling. And shrimp doesn't take a long time to cook. A little bit of effort, stubborn, trying to get out the pot. No, you will be cooked too. We're leaving no shrimp uncooked. While these two things are happening, we gotta multitask and start to prep our veggies. So here's what we have. Grab our onion, adding in our diced onion. 
Now, water's to a boil. Orzo pasta, same thing as pasta, it only takes a little bit to cook. I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil, helps it to keep from sticking. And I think our shrimp is almost finished as well. How are we on time? Nine minutes. Nine minutes left? All right, we can do this. Oh, fudge, 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 fudge. Okay, all right. This is a party in the kitchen today. Cool Kev. Chopping up now the cucumber. In goes the cucumber. We're gonna slice open the, the cherry tomatoes and depending on time or how meticulous you wanna be, you can quarter them or you can just have them. Shrimp is finished. Add it to a bowl so it can begin to cool down. We don't wanna add it piping hot to our salad, but the shrimp is done. Next we've got some beautiful fresh basil. I'm gonna tear off the leaves and I'm gonna place them right on top of the parsley. We're gonna double up the time here. What I like to do with my herbs is I like to roll them up. Dice it up, see? Makes it so much easier. Man, it's so fragrant right now. About finished here. Let's see. Yep, orzo's finished. I'm gonna go drain this. Can, we, can I get a pause while I drain it? Because I don't have the kitchen here. Okay. okay. Technically. Okay. okay. I'm gonna drain this with some fresh lemon here. And then sea salt, some black pepper, and then a little bit of the Fit Cook Land Season. Okay. And then add in our cooked orzo. Beautiful. Hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. And lastly, our cool down shrimp. Yes. Add that in and mix everything together. Fold everything together. And boom. How good does this look? And I think <laughs> that son of a, he did it. <laughs> boom. <laughs> yes. 15 minutes. Look at this. That's awesome. Like come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like yeah. Okay, like I'm proud of myself. Really, really proud of myself. <laughs> what a hearty lunch this is going to be. Woo! So for meal four, for snack two, we're gonna have a green apple protein shake. We're gonna add in some almond milk. And this is something that you can blend up at the very beginning of the day and then just carry with you, keep it in their fridge the same way that you would your lunch or in a insulated bag. Toss in a green apple. So if you wanna do half an apple, I wanna do the whole apple. Toss in some spinach. And then you're gonna add a scoop of your favorite protein powder. Then pop the top and blend it up. And just like that, add it to our shake glass. Let me just do a quick taste test, make sure it's okay. Oh yeah, Pretty that's some good, good stuff. Yeah. It's real good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, then you're gonna enjoy this with your choice of nuts. So I've got some pecans here. Boom, snack two, meal four is complete. Stop that timer. Pause. <laughs> Just at nine minutes. Yeah. Killed it again. I was talking a lot too. And I couldn't resist, but you still got some green mustache going. You're such a jerk. Why don't you say that after I lick my... <laughs> That's how you know you have a true friend. Like, don't say anything. Y'all, don't say no, anything. Shut your mouth. He's going to go. He's going to leave. Let him run with it. <laughs> Just let him keep talking. <laughs> so for meal five, for our dinner meal, we are going to make a spicy chicken chickpea stew. We want this to get really nice and hot because we're going to sear up our chicken first. So gonna grab yourself some chicken thighs. If you want this to be a little bit leaner, then you could just use some chicken breast. And once that skillet is nice and hot, we're gonna add in our old pal olive oil. And then we're gonna add in our chicken thighs. And again, we're just gonna go for a nice sear in there. As the chicken is searing up, we're gonna prepare our garlic and onion. And we're gonna cut up the onion this time into some large chunks. Smash up some garlic. Chop it up as well. Remove the chicken. Bring that heat all the way down to a medium. We don't want it burning. And in goes the onion and the garlic. And we're doing a rapid fire cooking here, but I tell you what, if you cook this for a little bit longer, beyond 15 minutes, it's gonna be that much better because it allows time for the flavors to melt. Now we just want to cook up the onions here. I'm gonna 
add in just a pinch of salt to help to draw out some of the sweetness. All right, so now we're gonna add in a little bit of tomato paste, and then this is some harissa paste. Now, if you don't have harissa, if you never heard of harissa, rather, it's just some roasted spicy bell peppers and just roasted red peppers. Um, it's very common in Moroccan cuisine, in North African cuisine. You can find it in most grocery stores on the international aisle. We're gonna let the harissa work for us. I like to just put a splash of some dried herbs and now cook everything together just like this. Mix it all up and it should be super, super fragrant right now in your kitchen. Like all of the, all the work is pretty much done now. The only thing we're gonna do now is help to deglaze it and we're gonna add everything back to the skillet. We're gonna add in some chicken broth, a very light simmer. We don't want it boiling. We just want a very light simmer on there. In goes the chickpea. Our chicken thighs back in. Three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Nestle everything down in there and then cover and cook for the remaining time. I smell it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. About 50 seconds left. 50 seconds left. All right, I'm gonna garnish this. We're gonna squeeze in some fresh lemon and then we're gonna garnish with some fresh parsley. Boom, technically our dish is done. 10 seconds. 10 seconds? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it, hey. What are you gonna do with your 10 seconds? I'm going to Disney World! <laughs> Actually, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna take my cauliflower, I'm just gonna grate it into a bowl. And it's up to you if you wanna use some steamed cauliflower or do that. Follow the scoop, Jesse. Ooh, look at that beautiful piece of chicken. And our harissa chicken chickpea stew is ready. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's 15-minute meal plan. Now, of course, we can't do all these meals in 15 minutes, but each meal here you can prep in under 15 minutes and maybe even, you know what, just to give you some time, I'd say under 20 minutes and we got the time stamps to prove it. So there is no excuse about you not having time. You can set aside 15 minutes to prep yourself a meal. And if you don't do the entire meal plan, well, what meal can you take from this? What snack can you take from this that you can prep so that way you can be prepared throughout the week and you can inch closer to your wellness goals? All right, y'all, if you like videos like this, I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, what up? How you doing? And happy new year. Welcome on to the squad. Don't forget that you've got to ring that bell, ding, 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 so that way you can be notified every time we post hot new content here on the Fit and Cook Kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Boom! Bye, y'all.